We asked you for documents. You said there have been all these issues in Masjid. Then you bring me a document I cannot read. Are you still going to accuse me of imputing uh, ill motive? If I say that you did not want me to see what is written in this document, because you have presented a document I cannot read. So just three years. Out of all the many documents, this is one page, and, and uh, maybe so. So we remove that one. No, it's unfortunate. I have already gone on record and apologized for the unfortunate error. Unfortunately, you cannot dismiss all my work just because of one page, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Your Excellency. You can't decide that for us. Okay. You know the standing of mine. Yes. There are conditional grants which you cannot get if you have an, an, an adverse opinion. And we'll be demonstrating to you as we go ahead that because of this opinion, the people of Marsali have lost millions in form of Kenya Revolution Support Program. So it is not a casual thing. So I want you to relax, take a deep breath, and be ready to learn from the Senate and the OH. It might help you in future. We are not in a defense and offense situation. 161 million? Yeah. 524,000? Yeah. 635. Yeah. Now, can you continue getting this money if you have an adverse opinion? From your knowledge of uh, that conditional grant? No, Mr. Chairman. So it means that this opinion has led to the loss of 161 million to the people of Washington. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, in that particular year, we had that problem, and I told you I have taken action. Oh, no, but no, by no, the way, no, no. we are just laying facts. Because we must, we must establish a link between this opinion and the money that comes to Marsabit. Is it a fact that with an adverse opinion, you would not continue getting the 161 million? Correct. If you had 161 million, Governor, would it you a lot of things that? Because uh, the fact you is, you lost 161 million. Correct. It was true. no opinion. I'm only trying to say it is true, but we made effort previously. We had, and when we came in, as a council, we, we, we gradually, the way the audit has been saying, we've been gradually improving in this uh, department. Uh, the 161 you have noted was as a result of improvement over the previous uh, system or rather accounting procedure that we did. The condition on grants, you think it's uh, free money coming from donors? That money is guaranteed by treasury. Kenyans are repaying it. Governor, why would you introduce a straight document if they are under review? Unless this one is in the wrong place, because, and that is why we're asking, when do you do boundary consultation? As I've been requested by uh, uh, Senator Sifuna, another one is, uh, uh, another one, this one is another document, is also 11 January 2022. Another one, Chair, interesting, is 15 March 2024, when the governor realized he was coming to the Senate. We decided to go back and get another certificate of balance. Very interesting. Another one is 15 March 2024. And it is good. I'm seated to a very good gentleman who is a, who is the area senator and he can confirm that what I'm seeing is what I'm saying. So so that is why, Chair, I always insisted that we, we need to give chance to the client to clean up his own documentation. Because this one is, it doesn't make sense. In question one, which is a variance of the uh, free cash book and uh, financial statement or seven accounts differ from respective total cash balances. And if you go to the receipts, uh, cash books and the, uh, and the certificates, if they can give us what are the barriers between the two, it's where we can clearly go to the support in the company. Because the person document is showing the cash book is the same as and the certificates. So here, the audit query is not even guiding us anywhere. Mr. Chairman, 75% of the queries have been uh, discussed and really agreed with the, with the auditors and my team. So and that's what we are saying. The facts and the material content of this map can be confirmed and I stand by the so if a, if a payment has been made and it doesn't clear as per the governor's response, uh, should we see that in your uh, bank statements? Yes. Where are those bank statements? After that, after that payment, but, uh, we no, have... You're going too fast. Sorry. The Excel spreadsheet 
Payments in cash book not reflected in March statement as at 30th of June 2020. Yes. Is, is that the reason? 2020, not 2021. 2021. What is that? Should it be 2020? Payments in cash book not reflected in March statement as at 30th of June 2021. No, what read what is it's before 20, us? 20, 20, 20, it's indicated 2020. It is indicated 2020. Yes. So, what is the use of giving us that drug schedule for 30th June 2020? That's an error. You see, the Governor, it was important yeah, for I us said. to go through this. Yeah, yeah, I see. We got it. So, then, then, you know, your first document, undated. Your second one, undated, referring to a different financial year. Yes. Why do we waste time even to go to subsequent uh, explanations? In, in, uh, in English or in whichever language you're familiar with, this 28 million, what happened to it? Who took it? Yeah. 28 million was paid to contractors that have done or have worked for the why, why is it difficult to just demonstrate that? Bringing us undated. Uh, reconciliations and schedules related to the year 2020. Governor, why, is, why would that be so difficult to, 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 to 28 million out of 8 billion? Yeah, yeah. Then, then expose us to this charade. Mm -hmm. No, no, Mr. Chairman, I agree with you that uh, uh, a lot of errors have been made in the process of demonstrating that. But the statement from the bank, uh, which of course is verifiable, is very clear, Mr. Chairman. What, 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 is, what, what is the required is bank certificate. Yes. Yeah, not, not the statement. Remember, it was the first question that I asked. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Seriously, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, if you look at these documents that have been displayed here, what we are actually saying, if you give me just one hour, I'll get you another one like this from this one. If you give me, in fact, 30 minutes. This is from KCB Bank. No, no, no. I don't have that. It hasn't been certified to be a true copy yeah. of the original. That's the error. That is the error. You are, are asking us, you are asking me to abdicate on my responsibility. No. You are telling me to take what you've given me, accept it at face value, because you are saying so. And we are saying our GPS is the auditors, auditors office. They are saying what you presented here doesn't satisfy the basic tenets of accounting. I have come to the conclusion that it will not be tenable for us to proceed with this interrogation. But uh, I am at least um, happy that we have been able to demonstrate some of the gaps that need to be closed. Now, uh, members, I wanted to propose that um, we have the option of adopting the Auditor General's report as this, which would mean that the Senate is saying that 8 million, 8 million was stolen from March summit. But I think it would also be fair for us to accord a proper hearing to the government of March summit. But when we give you that window for a proper hearing, it would be important that you serve us with records that are relevant and uh, that are precise to the questions before us.